peace. Happy now. Now is the vibrate. Not too far in the future. Not too far in the past. Right now. Right now, I'm just coming to y'all with basically with some. Something just hit me where I was thinking about in the future where I'm like, damn. That like I'm matter of fact, I don't know if y'all are familiar with the brethren of Bobby Hemet. But y'all should go check him out. Bobby Hemet, B-O-B-B-Y-H-E-M-M-I-T-T. Go check him out. But Bobby Hemet, uh, basically like a profound occultist and esoteric lecturer, you know what I'm saying? And basically a, a teacher and a student of all, you know, of all this knowledge, you know what I'm saying? I was thinking about how like in the next 10, 20 years, you know, 30 years, his his being is going to be on the level of how like how Europeans may worship like Aleister Crowley's occult, occult you know, and esoteric uh, information and, you know, and the things he did. Like, that's how, you know, I, and I feel like everybody, not just no melanated people, shit, lack of melanin, white, uh, Hispanic, whatever, you know what I'm saying, which that's all... From from highly melanated people to people with no melanin, however, I feel like they all gonna gonna resonate with Bobby on a higher level. You know what I'm saying? Especially in the next, like I say, twenty ten, well, ten twenty years. You know, where he's gonna, you know, this not is gonna get out here on a higher level. But I was thinking about how he is like that that person. You know that that basically, you know brought all this occult information and esoteric information to the forefront for you know for everybody on a profound level you know like because when you think about like crowley you know alistair crowley you ain't yeah, familiar you know yeah, george bush grandfather you know <laughs> matter of fact you see they, they both both uh dealt with with indigenous stuff you know what i'm saying like because you know basically uh, George Bush was like the first black gangster president that was white. <laughs> and Aleister Crowley was like, you know, one of the most profound, you know, bringing back the indigenous, you know what I'm saying, magic, or indigenous science, you know, because it wasn't really called magic, you know what I'm saying? So, like, grandfather, like, you know, grandson, in essence, you know, bringing back that indigenous vibe with a twist on it. <laughs> in a bad way. I'm, I'm laughing, though, because I... I'm not in ego, so some people are like, man, but you laughing, but Alistair and Bush did some bad shit. This is a matrix, and I don't know, sometimes I just don't give in to being in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is all a dream. But anyway, <laughs> like, uh, thinking about, though, like, Bobby Hemet is that, you know, that profound person for us, and I just was thinking about it, and I wanted to speak out on it, and matter of fact, because I... Like I say, I, I feel it and I know, like in my bones, just over watching things, how things happen over time. I'm like, man, we soon, like, we're gonna have, like, Bobby Hemet shirts, like, all his sayings on, like, clothing lines with his face, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's gonna be that person, you know what I'm saying, as far as dealing with spiritual, you know, and occult and esoteric knowledge, which is just hidden knowledge, you know what I'm saying? And which is not really hidden, in essence, you know? Just got to know how to decode it. And even down to the comparison, like, well, you know, where Aleister Crowley called himself the 666, the mark of the beast, this and that, you know what I'm saying? In which he did do a lot of things, well, moralistically, you know, in this, uh, moralistically to humans, you know what I'm saying? He did a lot of stuff that wouldn't sit right with people, you know what I'm saying? Understandable, you know what I'm saying? But, uh... He also did a lot of profound work, but what I was getting to is uh his name, like, you know, he profound, he called himself uh, the 666, the beast, you know, this and that. And I was thinking, like, well, you know, in that same comparison, Bobby Hemet is that that beast to, you know, to the one percenters and to the people that's trying to hide the knowledge from us, to the people that's trying to oppress us, the people that's, you know, that's still trying to hold on to control, which they ain't got it no more. But, you know what I'm saying? They still seem like they got it because, you know, they control the news and media for right now. So it's still going to look like they they got it. But it's over. But anyway, 
you know, Bobby Hemmett would be seen as a beast to their system, you know what I'm saying? Because he's kicking the knowledge and stuff to tear down, you know, their situation. And what's one man's God is another man's devil, you know what I'm saying? But I just really want to share that with y'all because I feel like that's, you know, Bobby Hemmett is going to be that, that entity on that level, you know what I'm saying? You know, because even while he's still here, to me, he, he is that person on that level. Come out of fact, how we, uh, uh, Brother Panic was running on one of his videos. Come out of fact, Brother Panic, another props, you know, peace and blessings to that brethren also. Because that's who I've been getting a lot of information from lately myself. But like how uh, Brother Panic was talking about how uh, Bobby Hemet, you know what I'm saying? He's dealing with his health or whatever, you know, getting himself right. And... How people still like wanting him, like, man, we want Bobby to come back, we want Bobby to come back. But he was like, man, you know, and then and, and, and in the essence of how Bobby felt about it too, is like, you know, like, well, like, I done did these, like, I, he, he got so many, you know, lectures and stuff like this, you know what I'm saying, that why I come back, how could I say it? It's like, we, we got this religious mind frame about everything, you know what I'm saying? That's what we gotta break down. Like, egotistically, we got this religious mind frame, you know, that take us away from spirit. But anyway, it, it, it looks for a messiah. It looks for something outside of his body. And also, with that religious aspect, you're looking for a preacher all the time. You don't ever really want to do the works. You just want somebody, and the Lord say this, and you know what I'm saying? Or, or you want, like, and with, or to the thing with Bob, you always want somebody like preaching to you. You always want to listen to a lecture, this and that. But the thing is, like, you know, why would, you know, Bobby come back and why should he when he got all these videos out that everybody haven't even broken down yet? Like, maybe we should start asking for him to come out, you know, once we break down everything that he put out for us already, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like reflective of my video that, that I had made, you know what I'm saying? Where, like, you know, people asking me questions, but, you know, just maybe just check out my catalog first and maybe some of your questions will get answered, you know what I'm saying, before you even ask the questions that you're asking, you know what I'm saying. But like I said, the, to it, like I, the religious aspect, you know what I'm saying, because it's all about our inner workings and doing these things ourselves, because that's another thing that, that Bob Behemoth is teaching us on so many levels, because Bob Behemoth, in essence, is like the, you know, like Jehudi, like the essence of, of Papa Leg, but that door opener, because he's giving us this all, all this information, As a matter of fact, and he's a profile channeler on a level where, you know, like how Alistair Crowley was doing his channeling and stuff like this, you know, Bobby Hammond actually channeled AWAS, the entity which I think he said is a, uh, was a form of uh, Osiris or whatever, but uh, he channeled AWAS, who uh, Alistair Crowley channeled when uh, Alistair Crowley uh, really started getting into making his books. Well, I think it's like the Book of Law and stuff like this was after he channeled AWAS. You know what I'm saying? But basically, uh, you know, Bobby Hemet be on these same channels. Bobby Hemet channel Michael Jackson, the old dirty bastard. My, like, he, matter of fact, Bobby Hemet uh, channel uh, Pata. You know, uh, I forgot the. Cause that's one of the names, and I don't want to slaughter it. But uh, it was basically the entity dealing with Rastafari, you know, for my Rastafari brethren. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's the thing too, where you start to realize spiritual works shouldn't be tied to no religion. Whereas across the board, just getting spiritual information. You know what I'm saying? But you know, Bobby Hemet has channeled so many entities and did so much work. You know what I'm saying? To put us, you know, in a place where we could start learning and teaching ourselves on a level, you know, on a on a very high level, you know. So that's another reason back to to that point of with him, you know, not coming back because you know he got enough information and things out there where we gotta study and, and do work on what he left us first, and then you know once we master all that, then we could probably start crying for him to come back. You know what I'm saying? But you know, let the brethren rest. Respect and love the brethren works, you know what I'm saying? And, and what's funny, like anybody on this level, because I remember like when I first started watching some of the brethren videos, I'm like, oh, seem, seem like he's going off the deep end a little bit on this one. And which pseudo, I'm looking at it because you, you see through the years because he's been doing this. he been doing this since the early 2000s, 90s, you know what I'm saying? Like, but... You watch him through his growth also, just like you could watch me through my growth on my videos. Well, he might have said somewhere like, ah, I don't know. That wasn't hitting on nothing too much. And then come down the line, you'll see videos later where he kind of 
then correct it or spoke up or be like referencing that point like well, you remember when I said this and that well nah it wasn't this and like that you know it says it was like this and another thing because he was one of the main people too that I saw a video where like how I tell y'all to stay open minded and be ready for information to change at all in any times you know what I'm saying don't ever get stubborn on your information and stand on your you know, your pedestal like, yes, this is the final truth and this and that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to change my mind for nothing. Nah, you know, information and things change as we go, you know what I'm saying? But definitely, you know, check out, matter of fact, if you haven't checked out the Bertrand by Behemoth, please go check out, just look him up and find any lecture. You're going to find so many, something going, you know, he gonna have some type of subject that you're gonna be interested in. Matter of fact, one of the best ones for people who's you know into the Bible and religious, I think it's called uh, breaking down religious myths. Type in Bible Hemet and religious myths, and I think the video is like a four hour video. As a matter of fact, it's nothing but videos. It's like five, four, or six hours and stuff like this. That's how I sit down and get all my information with my tablets that I be writing and stuff like all my. Just like lectures, like, you know, I sit down and listen. Matter of fact, that's about the Hemet lecture right here, you know. And matter of fact, this is the Pata. This is the one where he was talking about Anubis, you know. You know, the melanin, the black dot, you know what I'm saying. I think this was some of the stuff he was talking about, Rastafari, with what that is. The Pata, Neta Unra. In the hierarchy of Rastafari, you know what I'm saying? Go check that out if you're into, you know. But he really gets into the deepness, because that's another thing what people fail to realize, man. You know, y'all stopping at, at, at the little information that's right there, oh, the Bible, oh, the, the Quran, oh, I mean, you gotta go further. Think about it, like if, if somebody telling you a story, like say, for instance, like how that, that experiment where they pass the story around a classroom, where they'd be like, Tom sat down behind Shelly, pass it down. And by the time they get to the end of the classroom, it'd be, you know, it'd be the change. So what y'all, what y'all, what y'all saying, what y'all actions when y'all want to worship like the earliest, like these late, lately texts, like this Bible and the Quran, all these things, ain't nothing wrong with it. But when y'all want to worship that solely and not go to the real meat of the information, basically what you're doing is taking the message from that last student in the classroom instead of asking the first student what happened. So when people consider you to be ignorant or, uh, you know, cause I don't, cause like I try to be diplomatic and not, you know what I'm saying? Cause we all not growth. But just in some cases when those type of people like to stand on a pedestal, it's like, you know, it's like, understand why you be treated, why you, why you why you're being looked at like a little kid or like somebody that's ignorant? That's the reason why because you're choosing to take the information from the fifteenth person in the classroom instead of the first person that got the first message from the source. You know you understand. But peace and blessing somebody at my door, so I gotta go answer it. That's how I be. But remember, Bobby Hemet, go check Bobby Hemet out. And peace and blessings, Ashe, Bobby. Hope the health is well and everything is good. But blessings, peace, happy now. Not too far in the future, not too far in the past. Right now, peace.